What's up guys, Everyday iTech here and today I have an amazing video for you guys on how to install iPad OS on your iPhone. This is really, really cool and it's using the mobile gestalt exploit which allows us to run Misaka 26 on iOS 26.2 beta 1 and below. So iOS 26.0, iOS 26.0.1, iOS 26.1 and iOS 26.0. 0.2 beta 1 are all supported by this. So yes, iOS 26.2 beta 2 and 3 do block this exploit and iOS 26.2 beta 1 is pretty buggy so I personally recommend that you guys be on iOS 26.1 and don't worry, I do also have a video coming very shortly on how to downgrade from iOS 26.2 back to iOS 26.1. Anyways, this works on both Windows PC and Mac, so let's not waste any time and get started. Alright, so I will be doing this on an iPhone 17. It's fresh off a downgrade to iOS 26.1, so head over to general and then about so you guys can see iOS 26.1 right over there. Now, in order for this to work, first we do need to disable Find My iPhone temporarily, but don't worry, you can re-enable it later. So in order to disable Find My iPhone, first we have to go to face ID and passcode head on to there and once in here scroll down until you guys see stolen device protection now you do have to have this disabled in order to be able to disable find my so anyways once that is disabled you want to go back to the main settings page go to the very top tap on her name and here you want to look for find my so there it is over here you want to tap on into there and again disable find my iPhone again once this process is complete you can re-enable find my which I highly recommend that you guys do as long with stolen device protection. It's just that the exploit uses this workaround to be able to apply this iPad OS tweak to your device. Anyways, once Find My iPhone is disabled, we are basically halfway there. Right, now before we hop on to our computer, we just need one file from our iPhone. So the first thing that you want to do is open up the App Store. This link will be down below in the description to an app called A Shell Mini. Let's go ahead and tap on Git. It's a free app. There it is. That step is done. I'm gonna launch it real quick just to make sure everything is running fine. Okay, and that's it. Now you can go ahead and close out the app. Anyways, now we're going to open up Safari. Again, this link will be down below in the description to a Siri shortcut. As you can see, this is to save the mobile gestalt file from your device. And this file is specific to your iOS device. So you have to do it on your device. So once you're at this page, if you get any ad or pop-up, just tap on close. And once it says save mobile gestalt, you want to scroll down and tap on get shortcut. So if this pops up, don't worry, you do not need to sign up or create an account you can simply just tap on this x and quickly again tap on get shortcut now you do have to be pretty quick otherwise it does pop up again so gonna wait for the x to pop up and again let's do this real quick hello hello come on there we go. All right. So you guys see what I mean? Boom. Now we have the save mobile gestalt series shortcut. So now we're going to just go ahead and tap on add shortcut at the bottom. And now over here at the top, we're just going to go ahead and run it. Again, there's that manual method. But since we installed the A shell mini application, we can just tap on the second option, which is more automatic. So anyways, let's go to tap on that option and tap on allow. And you can see it brings up all the script. It says allow save mobile gestalt to share one dictionary with other apps. So I'm going to tap on always allow. And there is the the file that we need. So now all we're going to do is tap on save to files and I like to save it directly on my iPhone, not iCloud. So I'm going to go and select on my iPhone, go and hit save and boom, just like that, it saved the file and we are basically good to go. That's all we needed from our iPhone. Now, if we go ahead and open up our files app, we could tap on browse at the very bottom over here. And you guys could see that if I go to on my iPhone now, we do have the file over there. And all we want to do is transfer this to our computers. So you can just email it here yourself or airdrop if you're on Mac. So again, just tap and hold on it, tap on share, and I'm just going to email it to myself. So mail. All right, there's a file automatically attached and let's go ahead and send it off. Okay. And now we're basically 90% done. Let's hop on our computer. I'm going to be using my Windows computer. Let's go to plug our device in. All right. So we're plugging our device in. And if this is your first time plugging your device into your computer, it'll ask that you trust the device. So it'll have a pop-up as you type in your passcode. And once your device is trusted, you should be good to go. All right. Now, on PC, you do need to have iTunes installed to be able to connect your device to your computer. So make sure you have iTunes installed and it will show up over here. Holy crap, move, bro. 
right there. So yeah, I can see there is my device over here. Anyways, on Mac, you can just open up Finder and you guys will see your device over there. Okay, so once you have ensured that your device is connected, simply open up your internet browser. And again, down below the description will be the link to Misaka 26. And anyways, I would not recommend doing this on your main device right now. If you have a separate device, go ahead and try unless you want to back up your main device via iCloud or iTunes. And then you could just go ahead and give it a try without having to worry about if anything goes wrong, you lose your data. But anyways, let's go ahead and scroll down over here. And you guys can see we have Misaka for Mac OS and for Windows. So since we're on Windows, we can click on the Windows option over there and the download has started. Anyways, once it's done, we're just going to open it up in the folder. So anyways, what we want to do with this file is extract it. So right click on it, hit extract all and just go ahead and let's just put it to our desktop to make everything very simple. So boom, just like that, hit extract. And now it is extracting the file. All right, so it is done. I actually ended up cutting my desktop a little bit, so I'm gonna just go ahead and create a new folder. Call it Misaka. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just throw everything in this folder over here. Keep everything organized. Made everything a little disorganized. All right, so I would recommend creating a folder first. All right, so anyways, let's gonna open up this folder now, and we want to right-click Misaka.exe and click on Open. Of course, we will get this right here, and don't worry, it's completely safe. And to be able to run this, we want to click on More Info, kind of expand it a little bit, and you guys see it says now run any. Anyway, just like that, we now have Misaka open over here. And again, it does stay on Windows. iTunes is required to run. If it is already installed, there is no issue. So we already have it installed, as you guys saw, right over here. So we are basically good to go. I'm gonna hit OK. So right off the rip, it says, please use this shortcuts app on your device to extract the com.apple mobile gestalt app.plist file. So we already downloaded that from our device. You guys remember that when we sent it over through email. So here it is. I'm just gonna go and download it. Let's go ahead and just throw it on the desktop. All right, and now all you gotta do is select .plist file and go ahead and go to our desktop or wherever you put it and select it and click on open. Just like that, we are 99% done. So this video is just for installing iPad OS on your iPhone. So we're gonna scroll down over here and where it says troll pad, iPad multitasking 18.0 plus. We're gonna go and select that option and that's it. We're just gonna go ahead and select apply. And now it says applying. So you guys can see my device is now rebooting. It says device is rebooting. Remember to turn find my back on. And yeah, so again, keep your device plugged in. Don't unplug it or anything. Just leave it plugged in. And you guys can see now we're right back at the Apple logo. Oh my God, I'm so excited. This is actually my first time trying this out on my iPhone and I'm so Super excited so we are back in let's go ahead and log into our device and it looks like we're back at the setup screen apple intelligence i'm gonna set that up later camera controls continue and welcome to ios 26 i'm just gonna go ahead and skip through this as quick as possible and we are in all right so that didn't work the first time so that may happen if that does happen and nothing really changed on your device again just go back to misaka 26 again make sure troll pad ipad multitasking 18.0 plus is checked and hit apply again your device will do thing and now we're at the welcome screen and this is how you could tell we're running the ipad os now it's kind of not optimized for the iphone anyways let's go ahead and go into this and we're just going ahead and setting it up again oh my god oh my god oh my god it worked that is crazy what we got ipad os let's go check this out so now you can unplug your device all right so check this out guys so on the bottom over there i have my app library just like how it is on ipad let's go and open up some apps and see if it brings up oh my god this had the recent tray as well so it's right there there, you guys see I recently opened up the app store and now it's the recent tray. I could also put my iPhone into landscape mode. So it might be a little cluttered like this, but still it looks really, really cool. And now let's go into the app switcher. You guys can see we have the iPad OS app switcher too, which is really cool. So you can see a lot more in the page, which is awesome. And if I head over to settings and then this is so cool. <laughs> and I scroll down, there's multitasking and gestures. And so yeah, we're basically running iPad OS. So full screen apps. So you have windowed apps and also stage manager. You also have all the other again settings that iPad OS has with multitasking. So you guys can see if I go ahead and select stage manager, I now have the option of being able to swipe from here and have all my apps available as well. So this is really cool. How awesome is that? And of course, I can just go ahead and bring over any app and just have multiple windows for multitasking. So I can see I can move around the app store and then resize it as well and stuff. So that is really cool. And I also have my buttons at the top left, just like with the Mac OS iPad OS update. So I can go ahead and tap right there. I go ahead and minimize 
customize it. And yeah, even when I swipe over to the app library, you can see it has that iPad animation. Go take a look at control centers. The control center basically looks about the same, except it has a lot more space on here. So you can have a lot more in your dock, as you guys can see, which is really pretty awesome. We even have the iPad OS keyboard. So that is really cool too. And again, literally iPad OS running on your iPhone. You can resize the window over here. It's a little fidgety, yeah. And especially when typing on your keyboard, I would not recommend installing this on your main device. Still really cool to check out. All right, so you've had your fun and now you want to go ahead and remove this off your device. So how do you do that? Well, it's really pretty simple. Again, just make sure your device is unlocked. Plug it back into your computer and you will get a pop-up again asking to trust the computer so again make sure that you do tap on trust and type in your passcode all right and just like that again make sure your device is connected we are all good to go just double check to see if find my is still turned off because again we need that to be turned off for this and you can re-enable it after but it is so let's go ahead and go back onto our computer so now on our computer we want to open up the misaka folder that we created again run misaka and again select the mobile gestalt file that we put on our desktop so it's like the plist file go and select it hit open and here's how you reset so it's a little sneaky on the bottom right this little arrow it says show menu and now it says regenerate mobile gestalt reset so this is how you reset everything it's gonna click on that button and it'll start applying you can see our device is now restarting and now we are back at the apple logo and boom just like that you guys can see that we are back to normal everything looks good again it's gonna be let me just go and just go prove it to you guys so i'm just gonna go ahead and run through the setup over here real quick all right and we are back so you can see everything is back to normal and if i open up settings and everything we no longer have the multitasking option over there. So it's back to normal. And again, I would recommend that you enable Find My iPhone again. Make sure not to forget about this because if you lose your phone, you're basically screwed. So enable Find My iPhone again, guys. This is very important. And stolen device protection. So again, that is over here underneath face ID and passcode. All right. And let's go down stolen device protection. Make sure you enable this as well. All right. That's super important. But yeah, we are back. But yeah, guys, that is iPad OS running on an iPad iPhone. How cool is that? There's so much more that you guys could do with this mobile gestalt exploit. I'll have videos coming soon. Please be sure to like and subscribe this video if you found it helpful. Comment down below if you would actually use this. But anyways, this is Everyday iTech. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.